Today I'm going to teach you how to build your very own high fidelity RCA cables. I'm going to show you how to make them custom length, whatever size you want. And I'm going to teach you what to use and what not to use so you can have a pair of RCA interconnects at the end that you're going to absolutely love. So whether that be a subwoofer cable or just RCA audio cables, stay tuned because we're doing that right now. So if you're used to buying RCA audio interconnects, uh, you know that not every RCA cable is made the same. So I want to show you what you should use and what you shouldn't use. A lot of cheaper RCA cables will use this. This is a RG6 or RG59 cable. And this stuff is not the greatest to use for audio interconnects for a lot of reasons. But one of the main reasons is this. If we try to uh, fold this up or work with it, it is very hard to work with. Now we can get it but it's very stiff and honestly it just doesn't work very well. Not only that, we usually don't know the quality of the cabling or the shielding in it. And so I usually tell you guys to stay away from this. Although you'll find this in a lot of cheaper RCA cables. Well, you won't typically find them in the high end cables. So RG59 and RG6 coax cable, don't use it. Instead, we're going to be using this. This is Mogami, and look how much more flexible it is. This is amazing. We can twist it, we can turn it. If we need to worry about cable management, it is not gonna be an issue. Now, the cool thing about this too is we buy it by the foot, and it's really inexpensive, believe it or not. So you can buy this right from Parts Express. I'm gonna go ahead and leave links down in the description below. Uh, this is going to be their two core connector. So if we strip this back, we're going to see that it does have an outer shield and then it has two cables in it. This is perfect for something like an XLR cable. We can also use this for RCA cables as well. However, with a lot of RCA cables, you're going to be using their single core connector, which once again, I'll link that down below. Now, the great thing about this is this Mogami is made in Japan. It does use oxygen free copper as well, which is very important for us for signal quality and then it does have that shield. Now the fact that you can get it by the foot makes making your own RCA cables, well, very easy and getting the cabling that you need for it even easier. Now all we have to do is figure out what size length we want and cut this to length. I think uh, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a six foot lengths. Although you save a lot of money, especially if you need to do those long runs like those subwoofer cables from the back of your uh, home theater to the front of your home theater, this is, a great savings and you'll get a really good quality cable out of it. Now, if you really want to give your RCA cables that nice high end look, you can use this. This is called tech flex and they do make all different colors. So you can really make this match your equipment or give it whatever unique look you want it to have today. I'm not going to be using this, so I'm going to push it aside, but it is very easy to install just as I'm showing you here. The reason why I'm not using it is the cable that I'm using is a little bit thicker. However, there is a thinner cable that would work really well, and I'll make sure to link that in the description below. Now, the ends of the RCA cables are very important, and which one you choose is going to make a huge difference in the final quality of your cable. And a lot of people don't think about this. Now, you can go to Parts Express and buy these for relatively inexpensive. This is Parts Express brand. Now, what you can also do is you can actually go to Parts Express website and you can buy Infineal, which look very similar to this. They are a little bit longer. They're a little bit nicer. And you actually find the Infineal on a lot of high-end cabling. They often use these particular RCAs because they're really good. There is one issue with using these RCAs though, and that's the grounding issue that you have. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. If you've ever taken a cable and hooked it up to an amplifier while it's on, you'll hear something come through your speakers, usually some type of feedback like a bzzz or something of that nature when you're plugging it in. The problem with that is if you have a high set of high quality, high fidelity speakers in there, you risk blowing your tweeter. And that's typically the part that will blow on it. Luckily, when we're making our own cables, we can get rid of that by using these. Now these are by Nutric and they're called the Profi. If we zoom in on the tip of these connectors, we're gonna notice a difference. On the normal Parts Express one or the normal one that you see on a lot of these cables, you're gonna see that the center pin sticks up higher than everything else. That's gonna be your positive. And the reason why your equipment makes that buzzing and can damage your speakers is because that positive makes contact before your ground. Now, if we take a look at the Nutric Profi, it doesn't do that. In fact, the ground is 
the same height as the positive center pin. Now, as we put that in, the ground will continue to push down in. That way it makes connection with ground at the same time that it makes connection with positive, eliminating that buzzing and hopefully eliminating any damage to your speakers. Now these ends are a lot more expensive as you can imagine, but they are absolutely worth it. This does protect your high end gear. And if you spent that much money on your speakers, you want to protect them. It is a very small price to pay. I highly recommend these ends. Now that we understand what to use and why, it's time to start making the cables. Measure out your length for the cable you need. Now for me, it's going to be six foot. Now we just need to cut it down to length. And here we need to strip back the outer jacket. For this, I use my Klein Auto Strippers, which are by far my favorite strippers to use. And I cut off equal amounts of each end of the wire. Now don't worry so much about how much you cut off. Just make sure that it's the equal amount on both ends. From here, we're going to combine all the copper shielding by twisting them together. Next, we want to look at the inner cables. You'll notice on this particular cable, it looks like there's four wires coming out. However, if you look closely, you'll notice that only two of them actually have copper inside. The other two we don't need, so we're just going to cut those off at the base. Now we need to take our wire and measure it against the RCA ends. You want to make sure that the back part of the RCA, the gold part, is holding on to the black wire. At this point, you might need to trim down the copper shield and the inner cables to make sure that it fits correctly. Now, once you have them the correct size, strip the wire of the two inner cores and solder them together. Now that that is done, add the back end of the RCA plug onto the wire and then slide the copper shield in the bottom hole of the RCA. This is going to be your ground. We're just going to solder it to the RCA cable. It helps to have some helping hands. In this case, they're built into my soldering iron, which is very handy. I'll make sure to link all these tools in the description just in case you might need some. Next, take the two inner wires and solder them to the center pin. This is your positive. Now make sure that these are not stripped back so far that they could hit your ground. If everything looks nice, just screw on the rear end and do the same thing for the other side just make sure that you put the same color RCA tip on the other side. Now, one quick thing to note is that the Profi wires are exactly the same as far as wiring them up. However, they do have a separate plastic strain relief. For this, you do want to add that before you screw on the end. Now we can take a look at the RCA cables and just enjoy our work. Now you know how to make your own high fidelity RCA cables. This is Toyd's DIY Audio. And I'm out.